Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and synchronize files between the Steam Deck and the Mac operating system. So in order to do this, what we need to do is to press the Steam button here. I'm going to go to power and then we're going to switch to the desktop mode. So once we're in the desktop mode, we're going to click on the Discover Center and then we're going to download and install a piece of software called SyncThing. So we're going to type into the search here, type in the word SyncThing. And then we're going to go ahead and install this. So I'm going to press the install button here and it's going to go ahead and download and install this first. So once that's complete, we can go ahead and press the launch button here. So now that we have sync thing up and running on the Steam Deck, what we're going to go ahead and do is add this onto the Mac operating system. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. It only takes a moment to do, but it really helps to support this channel and the work that I do. So on the Macintosh side, I'll leave a link in the description for syncthings.net forward slash downloads. And then what we're going to need to do is download this SyncThing-MacOS. This is a kind of integrated macOS bundle. So this doesn't use the web interface, which is a little bit harder to use, but this should install as a normal application. So we're going to go ahead and download this DMG file. We're going to drag SyncThing over to Applications folder. And then within Finder, we're going to find SyncThing here. We're going to double click. I'm going to press Open. And then we're going to have this icon on our menu bar up here. Then we're going to go to our folders. We're going to find our default folder and double click on sync. I'm going to create a test folder here just to see if this is working. So I'm going to make sure that this is all working by clicking on here and then clicking on open. And then this is going to open up the web interface for sync thing. So because we're on the same Wi-Fi network, what we want to do is add the remote device. We're going to add the one that is automatically detected here, which is the Steam Deck. So I'm going to click on this one and then I'm going to call it Steam Deck and press save. And then with our default folder, what we want to do is press edit. And what I'm going to do is just share it with the Steam Deck and then press save. So that means that any files that are within our default folder, then they're going to be synchronized over to the Steam Deck as soon as it's connected up. So what we need to do now is to accept the sharing relationship with the Mac computer. So I'm going to move on to the Steam Deck now. So now it's saying my MacBook Pro wants to synchronize files. So I'm just going to click add here to this device, press save and click add here as well. So now our device is connected up and we also want to make sure that our default folder is synchronized as well. We want to make sure that it's shared with the MacBook and press save. So once it's all connected up, you'll see that the MacBook is now connected and now we want to add the shared folder here, the default folder, click add. So we're going to keep this on the default folder and then make sure we set the path to the sync folder here and press OK. I've also taken it off send only or receive only. We want to be able to do a full sync. Here we're going to press save. So now this is up to date, I want to go to my file explorer here and then you'll see that this is the test folder that we made on the Mac side. So I can go ahead and create a new text file here, text. So I call this one text file from Steam Deck and press OK. And now on the Mac side, we can see that we have the text file from the Steam Deck. So that means we have a full two way sync between these two devices. So we can now send any kind of file we want, including ROM files, or we can do save games as well. Anything can now synchronize between these two devices. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other video files like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.